Hello Legion, this is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more Master of Orion Conquer the Stars in our Trilarian Trickery series. This is episode number 19 of Trilarian Trickery. We, I think, are approaching the end of this series. Uh, I, I really do think that. We hopefully will get an Antaran victory, but things are just going so well path to victory wise that we might uncontrollably get one of the other victory types at any point. Like we might just find ourselves with, for instance, a diplomatic victory. I'm not as sure of how the economic victory works. I haven't won one before, but we're winning it at the moment. So um, we have to control the Galactic Monetary Fund. What that means? Don't know. Never done it. But um, that's an option. The Antaran victory is where we actually go through the Antaran portal uh, by building our own um, portal generator and paying them a visit. I did receive an interesting suggestion toward that end that I want to try and make happen. Um, and we're going to try and do this within the next couple of episodes because, of course, episode 20, if you missed the memo, uh, will be the last episode of Trilarian Trickery for a little while. Not the last one ever. I'm going to finish the series, of course. Uh, but every 20 episodes, I do switch content. So um, we're going to be playing Against All Odds Season 3 in the Long Dark very soon, which I'm super stoked about. So... Um, I want to try and make this happen in the next couple of episodes. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, but what I want to do is wait for the next time. Well, first of all, I'm going to build up my fleet even more. But I want to wait for the next time that the Antarans jump in to attack me. And when they do that, I'm going to have a portal into their dimension ready. And I will actually jump in and attack the Antaran pocket dimension while their fleet is out and about trying to do damage to me supposedly that is a way to kind of catch the Antarans off guard, which is a cool strategy. I don't know that I'm literally going to do that, but I'm, I'm going to do what I can to build up a fleet and kind of move in that direction, which means I do need to get the portal ready and I need to pick a place where it's going to be. So first things first, Kosumi just got bombed to hell. Um, again, the structures were not bombed, just the population. They were biological bombs. So we need to get new population to Kosumi. Also, we just have, we just had a new agent trained up. Echo needs to infiltrate an empire, I think. Why don't you infiltrate the Alkari? I want to find out more about what's going on there. Start the mission. The Mechlar still have a uh, spy of mine. Let's see what we can do to get rid of that situation. Damn. What do you want for Bravo? The Moon Lab tech? Okay, sweet. In that case... The combine okay, well that was relatively straightforward. Um, that was a little bit too straightforward, but okay. Uh, Bravo will be back in one turn. Main 2 has grown. I think I've already investigated all these. Ymar and 4, yep, Mechlon 2. Let's just double check. Uh, I can go ahead and buy that. Lord knows I've got enough money. Closing out on 400 gold per turn. This is what I was talking about a few episodes back with the economy spinning up. Okay, so new technology choice here. We have the plasma torpedoes or the plasma web. The plasma torpedo is a viciously unstable projectile. Protostellar plasma barely confined in a guidance shell that delivers staggering damage. Torpedoes explode on impact and are not affected by jamming or point defense systems. Ooh, I like it. Meanwhile, the Plasma Web launches a volley of energy projectiles that ensnare and cling to any ships on the target area. Oh, that's cool, too. But Plasma Torpedoes sounds cooler. <laughs> so we're going to go with that. Now let's update our blueprints. We do need to upgrade our ships um, somewhat fiercely. Um, there are a number of outdated ships in my fleet. And I'm aware of that. Um, so I want to try and stay on top of that. Molecular control looks like is the next recommended technology. I'm just going to finish up this. Um, I'm going to finish up this uh, row or this column, and then what's what's going on here? Advanced damage control. Ship self repair. Ten percent return. Ooh, I like that. Galactic networking. Galactic currency exchange. Okay. So this is the economic victory right here, versus the galactic cybernet. So we actually have a choice between the currency exchange and the cybernet. Hmm. And then planetoid construction where we can build the doom stars. Oh, look at that doom star. That looks really cool. It's not shaped like a planet. Interphase fission. 
even faster drives. Okay, we've got some cool techs coming up. End game tech, for sure. Alright, you need to come to Kosumi 4. And let's start looking at upgrades. Let me try and get the most expensive one first. Yep. Let's get that cruiser. I mean, 17,595 is what I would need to fully upgrade all of my current ships. It's just stupid. This is the problem with Master of Orion, and it has been a problem for a very, very long time. Mal and I have talked about it. I've talked about it in my series. It's just been... It's really hard to imagine how it hasn't been addressed up to this point. Let's just put it that way. For upgrade costs to be so exorbitant, I mean, to where they would never be reachable in a game. Like, why not address that in some way? All right, Dagon Prime has grown. Right, let's put you down in production. Okay, now I need... Let's see, Vigair 3 is in trade good production right now, so let's cancel that. And let's go ahead and get a civil transport set up there. Where else do we have those set up? Main Prime, right? Yep, let's cancel that. This is going to lower our income for a bit. But again, we're trying to get po uh, population back to the planet that was just bombed. That's our primary focus. Obaka 2. Actually, Obaka 2 is ready for a construction project, so... Let's go ahead and do a civil transport here too. It'll only take one turn. And then we need to queue up some other stuff here. So, Obaka 2, you could probably do with <laughs> a core waste dump. <laughs> uh, marine barracks. I'm just building those everywhere, and it's kind of funny. And that, okay. Now, where else? I know there, was a, there were a few other planets. All right, those are all in... Um, Interplanetary administration mode. Okay, I'll be happy with that. I think that was uh, three that I just set up, so. I still have this fleet over here, too. Can't forget about them. This is a minor defense fleet that I set up to defend Palladia against possible aggression from this direction, and it never manifested. So... I could technically merge my two fleets if I wanted to go after the Antarans sooner. Namaran 3 has reached a maximum population limit. Okay, in that case. Oh, wait, nope. Can't move any population out of you. Um, let's go ahead and do a civil transport here, too. Vigair 2 has grown. Awesome. All right, so we definitely need to do some reallocation there. Problem solved. Main 2 has grown. That's better. That's a little better. See, these planets are just growing at exorbitant paces at this point. It's kind of wonderful. All right, Kasumi's grown. We're going to leave that as is. Terraf terraforming complete at Trilar 2. Well, that's awesome. So Trilar 2 is now a desert planet. So we're not going to be able to make it an ocean planet, unfortunately. All right, Vigair 3 is done with its thing. So let's go ahead and set you back to trade goods. And same thing on main prime. Uh, do I need... Nah. Let's go for trade goods. I did it again. I, I closed out this screen to look at population. I can look at it right here. I don't know why I keep doing that. I'm, I'm saying that for my own benefit, my own reminder, as much as for yours as well. If you're new to Master of Orion, remember, you can see all the information on, on that screen without having to go anywhere else. It's kind of wonderful. Let me go ahead and upgrade this space factory. Give it better engines. Okay, civil transport. Get over here to Kosumi. You as well. All right, this space factory is done with this advanced military outpost, so yeah, this one needs to be made into an advanced outpost. Or is this a... Yeah, that's, a, that's actually not ours, so we need to fix that. Let's go ahead and jump our attack fleet in, and they'll take care of it. 
and then we can build our own. Another simple transport, you need to come to Kasumi. And let's go to the next turn. Already have over a thousand, or I guess I should say over a trillion credits again, which is nice. So I can go ahead and purchase some more expensive upgrades. I can upgrade this cruiser. I could upgrade this Titan. I think maybe upgrading the Titans would be the smartest move. Yeah? So let's go ahead and do that. Vigar 3 has grown. Let's put you in... There we go. Let's just reassess that a little bit. Palladia 3. It's a Tundra planet. Oh, wait. Palladia 3 is a Tundra planet. That means... That means I can do this. We're going to make that into an ocean world. And we're going to do it sooner than we're going to build that battle station. As much as I need the battle station, I would like there to be more ocean worlds, please. We are the Trilarians. It's kind of important. Chewbacca 2 has grown. Bit of a pollution problem here. Less of a pollution problem now. Coral Waste Dump will take care of it in a few turns. Uzith 2. Let's put you in production. And we now can choose... Oh, wow. Okay, Adamantium Armor or Xeon Missiles. The turtle in me wants the Adamantium Armor. Yep, we're going to go for that. I want to be able to defend against Anterran shenanigans. Upgrade all blueprints, please. Thank you. View tech tree. Last one. Distortion fields gives us access to cannon miniaturization and a choice between... What do we have? I can't see what the name of that tech is. It's to the, the information screen. All right, Gauss cannon, I'm guessing, is what it is because it says the Gauss cannon. And then, of course, the cloaking device. Hey! I'll take a cloaking device. All right, so it's three turns away. Okay, ship upgrades are possible again. Let's go ahead and upgrade this battleship. And this cruiser. And this civil... Well, I didn't need to upgrade the civil transport, but there's only 50. We'll make that back. All right, Imarn 3. Let's go ahead and switch you back to trade goods. We now have an over 400 income. 400 brain credits. So again... Uh, just making stupid amounts of money. It's kind of amazing. All right, you need to stay put. Because I need you there for when this military outpost falls. Which it's about to. <laughs> That's totally a Mechlar military outpost from when they I controlled Dagon. I would prefer Dagon. us to engage in profitable association. Interesting. They're willing to give me two technologies and 35 credits to declare war on the Clackon. I'm still going to say no. This. All right. So the Alkari are getting increasingly agitated with me. I feel like my disposition with them lowers more and more every single time that an offer like that comes up. All right. Let's go ahead and attack this station with our battleship and cruiser. Uh, we'll take command. Why not? Oh, wait. Really? Really? It counts as a war declaration? They have a station in our system? I forgot we had made peace with them. All right, well, this wouldn't be Trilarian trickery if we didn't throw in a few backstabs. So we've just declared war again. Bring it on. Hopefully that won't have any kind of unforeseen consequences. I mean, the Mechlar are not a threat to me right now. Point defense, please. Okay, well, kind of. Those torpedoes are probably going to take care of the station. Wow. That was the cruiser. The cruiser, on its own, just took out that station single-handedly. Battleship didn't even have to fire any shots. Annotation. Our collection of... 
All right, so the Mechlar are not thrilled with me. <laughs> Just putting it one way. All right, this space factory needs to come over here, and we're going to build another one of those same outpost types. Going to take 12 turns. Palladia Prime has reached the maximum population limit. Wonderful. Let's go ahead and... Well, actually, we can't move too many population out of food, can we? All right, main two has grown. That looks like a just fine and dandy distribution of population. Kosumi 5 has grown. All right, we will leave you as is. New Titan has been completed. All right, main two needs a core waste dump, absolutely. Followed by... Let's see, you're an ocean planet? Just go into trade goods. I mean, I suppose on main two... Hang on. Do I already have the... Uh, Planetary stock exchange bill here? Yes, I do. Okay. Alright, Imarn 2 needs... They're an ocean planet, so we don't need to terraform it. Let's put you in trade goods as well. Alright, this is our... Volcanic world. I'm going to go ahead and queue up another Titan. It'll take eight turns, but again, just trying to, as rapidly as possible, build up a substantial fleet. Alright, let's also come in here and see what else we can upgrade. I can upgrade that battleship to, uh, looks like four levels there, so several blueprint upgrades just got covered by that one purchase. Civil transports are on their way to Kosumi too. They're almost there. Might be a while before the Antarans attack again. That, that was a good spacing between their their turns. Okay, we have a command point deficit, but it's not really affecting our income. Imarn four has grown. It's fine. Mechlon 2 has grown. That is also fine. Let's go ahead and move one pop down into food. This is an ocean planet. Yep, we're going to build trade goods here too. The nice thing about, again, doing trade goods on all these worlds is that these worlds are going out of rotation. I don't have to Unless I manually select them, I don't have to do anything with them, really. They will never pop up on my screen and say, hey, what do you what do you need us to build on this world? It's it's all taken care of. Okay, so this battleship and cruiser, it's really it, there were really just two ships in Palladia holding it down. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and send them to join the main fleet because I want to be as ready as possible to hit the Antarans. Meanwhile, I'm still waiting on a few stations to uh, to be built so that my command point total will go up. Got my fingers crossed there. Because I like, I'd like to be able to support even more ships, honestly. I'm pretty sure Path to Victory is still... Yep, rock solid. All right, Vigair 2 has grown. A lot of population growth. This is why I'm thinking that a diplomatic victory might happen automatically, despite the fact that we're kind of... We're, we're trying to steadily build towards the Antaran victory. Okay, Gauss Cannon or Cloaking Device. So this is just a really, really high-tech mass driver. Yeah, let's go. I mean, as, as cool as a cloaking device is from a science fiction point of view, let's just go for the Gauss Cannon. Some additional weaponry. Upgrade all. Looks like that replaced a number of weapons. Hopefully it didn't do the thing where it made my ships weaker, because that can happen in Master of Orion, and it's obnoxious. Big surprise. Quantum fields. Planetary flux shield. That would be useful. Yeah, let me go for multi-dimensional physics, because this will give us access to more command points. 
the last command point tech I think that's available. Yeah, it is. Okay, I'm going to upgrade all of my ships here. Okay, the first civil transport is arriving at Kasumi, so we're going to have some more population here finally. Oh, that reminds me. Um, I zoomed out and took a look at Orion. So I got some feedback on this, and I'm fairly certain that what the circle means, it's kind of like the, the way it was put to me that I really appreciated because I've played a lot of Sins of a Solar Empire, is it kind of represents cultural influence. So when you see a circle around a system, that means it is firmly within that empire's influence and you cannot colonize within it, which is why people were telling me you can't take Orion. So I don't know that for sure, but... I trust it enough to, especially given that it's it's as far away as it is, I trust that enough to, to just go with that. So Orion, we are not going to worry about um, for now because, I mean, the only saving grace, and someone did suggest this, is that because we're allied with the Cylon, we might be able to colonize it. Maybe. So it might be worth, since we have free movement it might be worth sending our ships and a colony ship to orion uh just to to check it out and then come right back if not um which we might do could be fun but that's just whether or not we do it in this series that's what the circle means and we'll have to find out whether or not the alliance has an effect on that Okay, so ships have arrived here. We can do some additional upgrading. Let's upgrade this Titan. Upgrade cost has gone up to 20,000, but we also almost have 500 gold per, or 500 billion credits, I should say, per turn. And we also almost have over 1,000 research points per turn. Yet another one of the many reasons that I think we are cruising towards victory pretty soon. Which victory? We'll have to see. Um, speaking of that... Oh, cool. So we have officially infiltrated the Alkari Empire. So now I need to give them a mission. Awaiting orders. Steel charts. Okay. Terracus 2 has grown. Mechwon 2 has grown. And a battleship has been completed. So we do definitely have a command point deficit. We have stolen information revealing all Alkari colonies. All right, so maybe that will give us a bit more information on the, the actual state of the Alkari. All right, Trilar Prime. Hmm. Yeah, go ahead and just build an orbital shipyard. Trade goods. Here's our new battleship. Send them down to Kasumi. We have another population arriving here. Let's take care of that. Okay, good. They're already in sensible places. We have more population on the way. All right, so this is our new Titan. Where would be a good system to build the portal? Terracus, maybe? Terracus is currently terraforming. The question is, does the Antaran portal destroy anything in particular. I guess we're going to find out. Let me go ahead. Transforming the star of the system into a portal to the Antaran dimension. So, yeah, let's let's try it in Terracus. It's going to take 18 turns, but we're going to build towards that. And I just need to get a jump gate. Actually, I have a jump gate set up. I've got a jump gate um, in Mechlon. So I'll be able to jump straight from... Uh, actually, I probably need a jump gate set up in Kasumi to take to actually do that because my closest jump gate is actually in Vigair. So yeah, I probably do need a jump gate right here in Kasumi. I have a um, okay seven turns and eight turns here, so both of my space factories are otherwise engaged. I'll leave that as is. 
Okay, once again, we have to pick a uh, production project here. Let's just go for house pollution. Totally fine, because I have coral waste up. Not really something I'm concerned about. Let's go for trade goods. A little bit of extra money. Okay, you just need to unload. Now there's three population here. Okay, next turn. Also, there is a fourth civil transport. Good to know. It was hanging out here and I didn't see it move in, but it's, def it's definitely here. We also have a good amount of credits. We're going to have 50... Oh, wait, hang on. This could be a key moment. Let's see what happens. We have been gaining a lot of population. The question is, how rapidly has everyone else been gaining? All right, so the Alkari have voted for me. The hive speaks for the hive. Big surprise. We abandon our vote. I've arrived at a conclusion. Code 204. No content. It is the will of the nameless that I shall take this seat. Okay, so we're not quite there yet. We probably just need to own more systems. For a second I was thinking that might be the game right there. But not quite. Not quite. Who's this? Two? Okay, we're still building basics here. Let's do subterranean farms, robo miners, moon lab, spaceport, and a hollow sim. Core waste dump, and let's terraform this planet again. We're working on building Trilar 2 up. It was just a barren world that we built out of rocks. Um, now it's a desert world. And we're going to keep making it wetter and better. So it's a little bit more helpful to us as a planet. All right. This is also still kind of in basic construction mode. But that's fine. This is Kosumi. It's to be expected. Speaking of that, let's um, unload this population here. Awesome. Now, I think... Yep, our new Titan just arrived. So we now have a really, really powerful fleet. Need to continue upgrading these ships, though. Let's go ahead and upgrade this cruiser, because we've seen how powerful the cruisers are in their current iteration. Is there anything else I can upgrade with the money I have remaining? Probably not. Oh, yep, there is. Another cruiser. Upgraded. Done. All right, Kasumi 3 sure is growing very slowly. We need to figure out... Oh, it's high gravity. Wait, no, but we've already got a gravity generator built there, so that shouldn't be an issue. Also, notice that turns are finally slowing down now that it's late game and so much is going on. I've, I've been raving for the entire series, as I often do, about how fast the turns are in Conquer the Stars. But not always the case. All right. Oh, this is why... Jesus, nothing's actually being produced. All right, well, let's buy that. It'll be done next turn. God, glad I noticed that. Let's go ahead and buy the Neutron Collider. Vigair 2 is grown, still growing. Main 2 is grown, also still growing. Kasumi 2 is grown. Oh, cool. So Kasumi 2 just, just grew organically after we flew in all of that extra. Sweet, check this out. We no longer have a command point deficit and we're almost up to 600 billion credits per turn because we got the hyperspace communications tech. We also got the hyperplanar transfer tracking premises. Okay, H the HTTP consists of cutting edge laboratories dedicated to studying how to transmit and receive discrete packets of information from our dimension to a higher plane. Together with the transponder control plant and ultra planar. Okay, this is a scientific victory. So they've they've renamed it. Uh, this what this was just 
this was called just scientific victory one, two, or three at one point. Um, so the hyperspace sensors are also ours now. So we have better scanner range. So view tech tree. I like the idea of molecular tronic. Superscalar construction, though, so we can have access to the Star Fortress is probably the main thing I need to work on. So I can get that command points jacked up even higher and have a ridiculously powerful fleet. Okay, so... Hmm. I could start building science victory buildings. I really could. And that would that would be one way to win it. But I, I don't feel like I want a science victory. I want an Interran victory. If I can help it. Alright, let's just go ahead and set Palladia 2 up for trade goods. Fleet needs orders. Okay, new battleship. We'll send it down to Kasumi. That battleship is going to hang out for a bit. Vigair Prime has reached maximum pop limit. Good to know. Let's move some population into other options. Six turns away from the station being completed here. Five turns away from the station being completed here. We still have a colony, uh, a world that we need to colonize in Kosumi as well. Totally forgot about that. It's a crappy world. We share many secrets, you and I. Interesting. Why not share more? Okay, I'm going to accept this. Just because it's it's kind of a nice guarantee. Um, I don't know, like, it's, it's ironic that I accepted that right after uh, saying that I didn't want to build the science victory, I suppose. Ironic in one sense, but... Uh, that's a pretty good chance that that will help us win the diplomatic victory. But at the same time, like, the series is called Trilarian Trickery, and I feel like the Trilarians kind of using alliances to backdoor their way into control of the galaxy is, uh, is plenty tricksy, shall we say. So, so yeah, I just, I, I think that that is, um, a sensible course of action. Let's go ahead and build the Titan there again. We're going to build lots of titans at Ursulus. Here's this one that we just finished. We're going to send it down to Kasumi. Need to get a jump gate built as soon as possible. We're going to have a lot of money again in the coming turn. It's just going to be a running theme. We're going to have more and more money going forward. And we are setting up the Anteran portal in Terracus. It is 21 turns away. Imarn 2 has grown. That's fine. Imarn 4 has grown. That's also fine. Okay, we're going to be done with the ocean transformation here in one turn. Dagon Prime has grown. Uh, let's go ahead and move. We've got a pollution problem a little bit, so let's move some stuff out of there. Um, speaking of pollution problems, let's build you a core waste dump so that you no longer have a pollution problem. We'll build you a battle station for those extra command points. Spaceport, deep sea cooling, subterranean farms. And that planet will be in better shape now. Alright, Imarin Prime probably just needs to go into trade goods. Give me some additional money. Let's see, Dagon 2 could use a hollow simulator and a battle station. And then we'll do some additional research buildings. Auto Lab, Astro University, that's fine. Okay, so this battleship is ready to come join the fleet. All right, at the beginning of the next turn, I'm going to see what I can upgrade because we, I believe, are going to be, yeah, we're going to be over the 2,000 mark, so we can definitely purchase some additional stuff for our fleet and level them up, make them even more ready to take on the Antarans, and then maybe think about sending them toward the portal system. All right, let's see what we can do here. Oh, why is the ship upgrade window all the way at the top here? That was weird. All right, now it's in the normal place. Didn't I just click buttons? Like, oh, I guess I just had a ton of money. 
Okay. Mechlon 2 is grown. Okay, we'll leave that there. Uzith 2 is grown. Kosumi 5 has grown. We do need to get a uh, colony ship headed this direction sooner than later, which I'll work on. But for now, I will go ahead and cut this episode here. I let this one run long on purpose just so we can get a little bit more done. Uh, Terakis is two turns. I was going to say one. Did my math wrong. Two turns away uh, from being done with their terraforming. So they're going to be a Terran planet next turn. And then we will have an Anteran portal generator going up. Uh, and I'll take 18 turns. I might be able to move a population uh, down to production, but also it's going to grow in two turns. So that'll help shorten the construction time on that. And then once that's built, uh, we might send our ships in to see what kind of damage we can do to the Antarans. Whether or not it goes well will be a question for another episode. <laughs> but for now, I will go ahead and cut this one here. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. New episodes in kind of a science fiction, sci uh, I was going to say science fiction or sci-fi. Science fiction, simulation, or survival type of vibe air daily at 6 Eastern time, which is GMT minus 5 for those of you not in the States. Comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.